All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to beat the Free Pal Alliance Tower real quick on easy mode. All right, guys, so if you've been having trouble beating this, I'm about to show you the foolproof way to do this, okay? And so first, throw out your flame Pokemon, okay? I like Bushi. He works pretty good for me. Um, just make sure you... Oh, sh what the hell happened, Bushi? All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is not summon your, your flame Pokemon, okay? Don't summon him yet. Okay, yeah, this is what you want. This is what you want. Okay, so you want her to be stuck in this queue because she's going to continuously chase you, not throw out your flame, okay? And then you're just going to dodge her, bro. Like, bro, just let that man douse her, bro. Whatever your flame Pokemon is, make sure they're leveled up. Like, 27 is when I came to uh, fight this dungeon, so I feel like I did pretty good at that time. And that's all you're going to do, bro. Just literally just dodge her through these little columns here. Because she's going to be stuck in that queue. And the queue is, once she gets close to you, she's going to give you some poison gas. That's what you want to avoid. I'm not going to trigger the poison gas yet, because we'll do it towards the end. So, we're going to skip towards the end. That's when the poison gas is going to happen. I'll, sh I'll show you somewhere in the middle, somewhere. Alright, guys. So, about right here is where I'm going to show you. So, there. See? She's going to let out that poison gas. That's what she's doing when she's getting close. But it doesn't matter, okay? So that doesn't matter. Now, if that happens and you're like, oh shit, dude, and you're like, I need to cue that shit again, then this is what you're gonna do, okay? You're just gonna keep egging her. Oh, sh holy. You're gonna keep egging her. Oh, <laughs> buddy. You're gonna keep egging her until she does, she cues that shit again. No, it fucking popped it, dude. See? It's difficult, guys. Fox, dude. <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficult trying to get her to do. So I'm just gonna throw out the Pokemon and then we're just gonna we're gonna try to finish it up. You got this, Grizz, you got this, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. So even if you do end up getting it halfway, it is possible to just like, you know, manage it. But you saw when I ended the cheese, it wasn't like halfway, it was a little bit more than halfway. If you guys are doing this, make sure just, you know, once you do lock in that animation and she's chasing you and you got it going, do not fucking let up. But if it does, if you do mess it up, there is ways to trigger it again. You can bring your, take your Pokemon back, but then you gotta really dodge and really try to get that animation down. And once you notice, that she's coming for bro you just gotta start booking it keep that distance and then get your pokemon out and then just keep that same thing going so i think this is the easiest way to do it if i'm honest you pretty much get the attack the minute you go into the dungeon so it's super easy to trigger and then once that starts then you just do the rotation man and you're good to go but crossbow in my opinion is the best to use you can use a makeshift handgun or whatever you have at the time you know a, you know three shot bow whatever the only thing is is if you are at a lower level even though you're running the cheese you might not have enough damage to get through so keep that in mind as well unless you've been putting everything into attack and your bow is just hitting like a thousand you know every time then hey power to you bro <laughs> and with that being said thank you so much for watching guys my name is a walking target leave a like and a subscribe no comments you know how we do around here and i will see you in the next one